And this is a 1915 Ford Model T. And this car matters because it was delivered new to my hometown, Traverse City, Michigan, 100 years ago, and it never left. Its local connection enlivens both its own history as a car and also, I think, deepens the history of our town itself. You know, in the car world, um, we talk about history in a lot of different ways. Uh, history that connects cars to different people, to different places, to famous events, uh, to not so famous events. Um, but those processes of preserving history are, are actually fairly common between all of them. Understanding that unbroken chain of ownership from the beginning. Are there photographs with the car? Are there paperwork with the car? Are there manuals? Or, you know, people were, used to be so diligent about keeping their service uh, records alive with cars. They felt they were stewarding the vehicle very differently, I think, through the decades. And this car, this Model T, actually came with all of that. We have really good history on this car. We know where it lived, we knew how it was maintained, we knew what was changed on it, you know, if there was a maintenance issue. Um, it's just a really cool example of a well-maintained, well-preserved car. When I envision this car, uh, driving around the streets of Traverse City and in the surrounding areas. Um, you know, certainly not everybody had cars. Uh, the roads, you know, the roads had sort of terrible conditions. There were, there were a lot more railroads actually still in existence today and all those railroads were put in to haul lumber and, and again wood materials around. So, you know, this car was, um, it was special to its owners. Um, it was kept in remarkable shape during the course of its life and, and so I think that, that spirit of preservation lived around it. What I like about it is its unbroken chain of history and the fact that it's so connected with this place, which is the place I grew up. The car was bought in 15 and the old man who purchased it had an accident with it in 1926. So. He put it in his barn, which was over on 8th Street, and put him up, put this car up on blocks. And it sat there until the old fellow passed away. I had this car probably from about 19, oh, late 1978 or 79 when I purchased it from Phil Hibbert until it was sold here about two years ago uh, to Mr. Hagerty. The car wasn't totally perfect when I purchased it. And there were things that had to be taken care of. And part of it was just body, a little body work on the uh, left front fender uh, where the old man had had this accident. Uh, nothing major, but it had a, a bend in it and, and it didn't look right that way. Uh, the upholstery in the car, uh, I've replaced part of it. Uh, it's leather and uh, that's about all I've done that part. Also, I put a, a, a lacquer paint job on it because these, these cars did not have enamel in 1915. They were all lacquered. And lacquer's a little harder to, to deal with when it comes to uh, painting because the lacquer dries so fast. And you have to have someone who really knows what they're doing. And I found an old man, uh, last name was Robertson, out on Five Mile Road, who loved old cars and knew how to paint them and he's the fellow that did the body work and also painted it for me. Now, th this car is uh, it, it's really one of a kind as far as I'm concerned. I'm Bill Bakul and I'm Mikhail Haggerty and, and this, this car, car matters. matters.